Hello guys, it's us again, me and, well they say again, me and Joe, out for a change. So we're going to have a night in the woods, we haven't been for, again, what seems like a, a lifetime. So it's quite mild, quite sticky just now isn't it, it's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're heading down to our woodlands and uh, I'll chat to you more when we get there, see you in a bit. Camp's looking quite good, very colourful and green, which is good because the ground's not too dry. But uh, we're going to try and make a, a decent and safe fire pit. Happy days. Digging out the fire pit now to make this more permanent with this dry weather. So I'm going to dig down to get some good soil and or rocks. We have a nice little riverbed over there which we're going to get and get some rocks around here. Happy days. We only have a small controlled fire tonight, and we might. Yeah. So we don't need nothing massive, and we can work on that on the next trip. Happy days. We'll just get the tripod around it in a second. So I've uh, decided on my spot for uh, my hammock, which is going to be between these two here. So I'm overlooking the fireplace. I'll turn you around and have a look. So yeah, I've attached that side. I'm just going to attach this one, uh, do some adjustments, and I'll come back. I should be able to head this side, looking down there, whilst uh, Joe makes my coffee in the morning, as he usually does. <laughs> and he's setting up just across the way, as you can see. Not a bad spot, is it? The old sun's come out. down in this hammock. Very nice too. I'm not having a tarp tonight. I'm going to risk it. So yeah, I'm just going to risk it and uh, the forecast said it was going to be okay. So uh, let's trust it and see how it goes. What's the worst <laughs> that can happen? But um, yeah, I will have this net over and uh, lie here and watch the stars through the trees. Happy days. Have a look at Joe. Are you all set up, mate? Almost. Just uh, adjusting this underquilt. Oh, you're putting the underquilt as well, are you? Oh. You'd be melting, wouldn't you? I haven't used it yet, so... Why not? Yeah. You're going to be toasty in there then, mate. Yeah. Oh, camo as that. well. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll be sweating. Probably. Which uh, which probably... hammock is this? The front line. Yeah. Yeah. It's the XL, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Probably okay. won't. Probably won't use a sleeping bag. I don't think. No, I think you'll be toasty in that one. Yeah. You know, just lie there in your clothes. I'm going to be the same. I'll I'll just I'll have the sleeping bag in there because I've got no under blanket and I don't yeah. think I'm going to need. It. I'll just lie in there now because I've got it set quite low. Yeah. So there's not going to be a great deal of wind. I mean, there is a breeze, but. Each night so far this week has been 14 to 16 kind of thing. So 
and I've been sort of just laying on top, so happy days. Oh, she looks nice, just sat there with the sun going down behind us there. Not a bad setting. So I'm just about to make a brew. And, uh, what I'm going to use is, hang on a second, let me sort this out, come back to you. So, today, all up here, I'm going to use um, a ration pack for my food. Um, with it being as dry and everything as it is, we didn't want to have blazing fires and go, you know, blazing cooking all kinds of steaks and stuff, which we all love to do. But I thought we'd try and be a little bit sensible and keep everything to a minimum. So uh, I'm going to eat just out of ration packs. But my good friend Glenn, thank you very much, Glenn, also put, purchased or, or gifted me, I should say, the additional ration pack for extra drinks. And what it comes with is the little origami fire, fire pit. And in here we also have the little uh, fire gel. I'll open up the dragon gel, I think that's what it's called. And in here we've got a mixture of everything. Loads of... Let's have a look what we've got in here. So what does it say? I haven't got my glasses on. That doesn't say anything. Well, it does, but it's in foreign. So I'm thinking this is milk. Can't see. Oh, mild curry powder. Happy days. Mild curry powder. This will be yeah sugar. I don't have sugar, but it'll come in handy if somebody else was to be in need of it. Never know in emergency, so I'll keep them somewhat separate. Another one there. What else we got here? Instant coffee. Now that's what I do want. That's what I'm going to get going. And I think we'll get one for Joe as well. Yep, so a couple of coffees. That's some more chilli powder. And that's a puree. Oh, hot sauce. I could go into whatever else I've got in that one. And that's a hot sauce too. Chewing gums for the morning for breakfast. Well, fresh in your mouth and everything. Tomato sauce. Oh, there's the whitener. In case Joe wants some. This is. Can't see it to be fair. Salt. Yep. So hopefully we've got a pepper somewhere. Yep, pepper, salt and pepper. A bigger one of pepper, that's good. So some more coffees in here. Scouring pad, that's handy. Nice little size scouring pad. Some extra coffees. Not very so. Wet wipes, that's good because I've got a lot of pine sap. I doubt it'll get it off. Purifying tablets come in handy. Some matches, another wet wipe, some tissues for the number twos or whatever, and a plastic spork. So cheers, Glenn. I'm going to get this fire going and uh, fire thing, and I'll come back to you. See you in a minute. Do burn quick. It's lit now, anyway. So let's get the kettle on. Pops up in the front. Didn't take too long. But seven minutes like for a little kettle but they're not uh, when you're having it nice and 
steady. That's good. Let's get this coffee on the go. There we go, mate. And coffee you for much. you. Do enjoy. <laughs> Chills. So uh, you've just got a hip flask, you said, wasn't it? With a little bit of whiskey, was it? Whiskey, yeah. yeah, I've got I think Jack Daniels in mine, so that's all we've got, but that's enough, isn't it? Yeah. Happy days. So uh, what we're about to do now, we're gonna, we've got that fire pit sorted, so we're just gonna make a seat. I'm gonna put two logs like we've got here, and uh, I've got some pegs here, which I've just rounded the tops off, and um, I'm just gonna put a point on them, and we'll hammer them in once uh, Joe comes back with the, the second piece uh, and we're just going to sit it in between here and have that as a natural backrest should be all right facing the fire when it's uh, appropriate to do so so yeah I'll just go and put a point on this got to get the point somehow and see how Joe's getting on with this second beam. So you need the backhoe? Yeah, I'm going to have to switch to the backhoe just because... Uh, oh, it's slightly it's deeper, is it? Too big, yeah, so. Here you go then, mate. No, I'll you that if you want me to do it. Just, uh, just say. Have you done one side? Yeah, I've done that one from there. So it's oh, it's already off there, is it? Yeah, well, it's stuck on the bottom. On the bit. I'll come and uh, take the weight off it, perhaps. You're going to be all right with that, mate? Yeah, well, I hope so. Watch your step, OK? Don't try this at home. <laughs> Don't try this at home, no. That's a chunky one, that is. I'm on about the log, not you.
So I think it's that time to get some food on. We're going to try this, uh, basically boil in the bag, fresh and pack, I believe. Again, no need for a fire. So bear with me. And I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Pasta bolognese. I'm happy with that. So, heating instructions can be heated or eaten hot or cold for best results. Place in boiling water for seven to eight minutes, then open and serve. Okay, so that's fine, but, but, I may be wrong. There should be something a bag to heat it oh, and another spoon so you've still got loads of tea and coffee in there with um what's this strong mint yeah so this will be a bag to heat it so i'll leave it there i'll get this sorted and i'll come back to you once it's uh, it's working guys 60 mils isn't much. That's about it. Hang on, actually. Anyway, we'll come back in a few minutes, mate. 12 minutes, he reckons. See you then. So I'd watch your hands, because once that activates, that, that gets hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. And leave it for 12 minutes, it says. I would have made these a bit better. All the heat goes out of there, but right, let's see if this is hot, or at least I'm sure it won't be scalding. It's designed to be warmed through there. Let's get it out. To be fair, pretty damn hot that is. Jeez, there's still a bit of water in there, but if in if inside is as hot as this feels, I'm going to be a happy chappy. Oh, come on. You still want it to go everywhere, which is normally what I do. Leave that on. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Let me just bring this to you. I'm going to sit on this new bench. Wow. Look at this. Pasta shells. I don't know if you can see that. Let's give it, ooh, it smells good. Hmm. Yes. The outer bits are a bit warmer than the inner, but the inner is still warm. So, bon appetit, everybody. I'm going to take a seat and uh, enjoy my tea. Happy days. This is some local fat wood, yeah? Yeah, harvested from this very site. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little bit of there.
some nice mini fatwood feather sticks. You can move that, mate. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. You've got the right material. Just a nice, small, steady, uh, controlled fire. It's nice to have everything prepared, isn't it? So you can yeah. just put it on as and when. Helps, doesn't it? It helps, yeah. Preparation's key, mate, all the time. Well done. Say again? Took a bit to get the fat wood going, but got there, didn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. But it worked, that's the key. So, the other side of this is, if you have a small controlled fire, just get it just right. You can, doesn't mean to say you have to, but you can have a fire when it's dry. But you just got to be super conscious of the environment. And uh, we've got a, a container of water at the back there to pour over anything we were watching for sparks and stuff um i wouldn't go having a blazing one but as you see you know this was quite small and as controlled as you can be um in this environment so uh just so you can do it can't you mate you're gonna enjoy your burger now aren't you because uh, that one I just had off here was lovely. <laughs> just wait for this kettle to boil now. I mean, no rush. There's plenty of heat there in those stones. Happy days. Bit of a whiskey tot in the coffee, mate. Very nice. That'll do us for the night, innit? That'll do, nice. A little uh, nightcap, as they say. Air of the dog. Air of the dog, is that what it's called? <laughs> Air of the dog, happy days. <laughs> well, as you can hear, <laughs> the rain has come. So I had to nip out and quickly put the tarp over. It's uh, important to be ready for anything i did one a night under the stars but as it turned out we've got some thunder and had some lightning in so i had the tarp quite handy so I popped out shoved it up when i got back in i had somebody in here i had to get him out it looked like a hornet or a wasp it looked more like a hornet but I think I'm okay now. Just listen to this storm for the duration. Good night all. See you in the morning. Morning all. As you can see, I had to put the tarp up. Last night, that was quite a, a quick setup, so excuse some of the the bits but it didn't half pour down with the storm but now it's only 10 to 5 in the morning so I'm gonna go back under and grab another hour I think no sign of life from Joe yet I don't blame him he's over there I 
just had to come out for the morning wheat. I lie here listening to this. bit now. Had a lazy morning, old Joe there. Having a nice relax. Some filming. I got the got the kettle on. Just using the uh, little burner. Everywhere got soaked last night. <coughs> but uh, so we at least we know the ground's damp. But I'm only having a little fire to make a brew anyway. We're not cooking any breakfast as such. But nice. Nice coffee. Yeah, might uh, might put a backrest on this this bench we made. We've got the uh, the natural bank there, but we're thinking. A nice proper backrest would be quite cool. So we're gonna have a have a go at that after the coffee, I think. Get a couple more bits. And lash it on. Happy days. They're gonna fit. Come this way, oh no, yeah, yeah, go to you a bit, innit? So it's level, ends level there, that's all right there. Yeah, so come up about just there, innit? By the time we knock them in, yeah. we know they're in a good enough place. That'll do then. Happy days. Okay. Just gonna notch these out so that'll recess in. He's digging the bank away there so we can lash them. That's our little bench all sorted. Solar panel charging up, making the most of the sunlight. And uh, yeah, it's really kind of comfy. And if if it happened to be wet, we do have our, our little mats as well. So uh, happy days. So this uh, coffee in a bag again, it was really nice yesterday. Ooh. It's going to be a strong cup because this kettle doesn't do a great deal, does it? Oh, happy days, mate. Happy days. The little tower fire worked well because that's great for just making the the kettle boil. Happy days. That time come, mate, is it? Down camp. Unfortunately, it has. Oh, it goes too quick, doesn't it? It's been good. I'll go and get my stuff down as well. My gear's all down as well. That's us done. We'll uh, leave no trace in those areas, but obviously it's our camp, so it's all good. <laughs> 